Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City or Animal Crossing City Folk and it is the 14th today so we're getting into a new week now. It technically is Shamrock Day I believe so. This is probably the last day we're going to be wearing this awesome DLC hat that was recently distributed. Um, we'll probably take it off in the next episode because we kind of celebration will be over and honestly I'm a little tiny bit not tired of seeing it, but I'm ready for a change uh, So today we are working towards the town fund uh, that is our recent kind of the stretch goal I guess or the milestone we're working towards and um, so basically we're gonna try and earn some pennies today or some bells and donated to the town fund. We are close to unlocking the bridge, I believe. I think we're somewhere in the region of 150,000 bells already donated. Um, I'm regretting not keeping count because I don't want to donate too much, but we, we should be going towards um, 200,000 bells. I can't believe I accidentally planted this tree and it's growing. We're going to have to just let it grow, I think, and then maybe make a stump. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Nothing too special. It's looking a little bit miserable actually. Is it is it foggy or is it just my eyes? It looks a little bit kind of foggy. We're in the middle of the day. Uh, it's almost like midday, so not quite sure what's going on here. Um, so since we're all about the bells today, I guess we should go straight for the money rock because, you know, easy bells. Easiest bells in the game pretty much is going for the money rock. Once we've got the first town fund milestone out of the way, we will start doing things like planting money trees, uh, seeing if we can grow those, because it's just really fun to do, and we haven't been able to do it yet. Uh, and of course, continue working on the landscaping, but this week, now that we've paid off our first debt and we've gotten upstairs, we, do, we will get around to some decorating, but I really want to see what this town fund is all about. And basically, I'm really interested to see how it works, because... It's not something I've done before, so, and there's also a lot of, I don't want to say like misinformation out there, but there's a lot of contradicting information out there, is probably the best way to put it, about how it works, how much you need to donate, when you need to donate it. Um, looks like we've got a message on the bulletin board as well. So I'll be really interested to see how it works. Um, let's check out the bulletin board. Uh, oh, no way! What? Thanks to the donations from everyone, we've decided to build a new bridge. Vote on a location at the Civic Center. No way! So we've already reached it. So we must have done donations that we've forgotten about. So we've already reached 200,000 bells. I thought we were about 150. Oh, I'm smiling. I'm happy. No way. So we're going to see it quicker than we were expecting, I guess. We... I was aiming to do another sort of 40 or 50,000 bells today to see if we could get near that um, threshold. So it tells you on the notice board, 14th, so that's today, yeah? Thanks to the donation from everyone, we've decided to build a new bridge. Vote on a location in at the Civic Center. So we do get to vote on a location. Oops, I, did, I, I took a picture. I meant to open up the map there. So... I'm guessing we're going to be able to go and choose a location. So let's decide where. I'm guessing the most suitable places. I don't think it needs to be up there. Here might be useful. Or here. But really, I'm wondering if it's going to be possible to put a bridge down there. Because that would make running the beach a lot easier. But it's looking like there might be some predefined locations where the bridge can go. So I'm not sure how it, how it works. So let's go and see what it's all about. Voting for a location. So, so that's how it works. I'm guessing there are predefined locations then and you vote rather than going to go somewhere. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, we've been guessing enough. This is the window for the Civic Center. What can I help you with? Town fund. Is this how we do it? With your help, we have quite a few bells, which we'll be using to build a new bridge. So this also busts the myth that you need to donate everything at once. And um, there's a few wiki pages that says you need to donate all 200,000 bells at the exact same time in one hit. Clearly that is false because we've been doing sort of 10,000 bells here, 40,000 bells there over the last two months. So it's been a lot of work really. Um, so now I'm interested to see 
how it works. We're currently conducting a survey to decide where we'll put the bridge. Please let us know what you think. How? Oh. Oh, wow. So there is two predefined, uh, three predefined locations. This is so cool. I had no idea this was, this is how it did it. So let's see. Well, <laughs> why would you want to put it there? So we've already got one. Unless, can we, do, can we remove a bridge? Because I would actually like to remove that bridge. If we could remove a bridge, I don't think we can. But if we could, I would love to get rid of that bridge. I'm really regretting moving right next to the bridge. I thought it'd be fun. We should have probably moved down here or up here. You know, especially now Kusto's left us. But yes, yeah, so I don't think that's a good location because it's right next to another bridge. This is interesting. I thought it might be a little further around near the waterfall. That would be the obvious location, wouldn't it? In the middle of the map. It's going to make running around a lot quicker, especially if we start planting some fruit trees here and here. We're going to have to run around up to the shop pretty quickly. Here, uh, I would love to put it there. Again, it's because it would make the beach run so much quicker. But it just doesn't make sense to put it so close to another bridge. Can we get rid of this bridge if we decide, or is this it? Is this, once this bridge is here, it's going to be here forever, isn't it? I haven't found any information. It doesn't say anything in the guidebook about removing bridges, I don't think, or changing our minds. So this is, this is a difficult decision. But I think the most obvious would be to put it in the center. That's too close to our house. We don't want two bridges near our house, so that just seems silly. This is very tempting. But looking at where the circle is, it's probably put it at an angle, so it wouldn't be straight across anyway. So you might as well just go over this bridge. I'm tempted, but I think we're going to have to do the obvious. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Construction sound effect. Understood. I'll make sure your opinion is taken into account. Oh, so is it not definite? Pelly, is this, is, is this a decider? Remember, the proposal with the most support wins. So who else gets to vote then? Is it other players if there are other residents or is it the villagers as well? We could be fighting a losing battle here. So if things don't turn out as you would have liked, well, sorry. Uh, now, is there anything else I can help you with? Let's just see what happens if we do this. Right now, we're moving forward with our plan to build the new bridge. Uh, I'm sure it will make life this uh, in this great town of ours even better. So please look forward to its completion. So there's some dialogue you'll probably only ever see once. Because I don't know how long it takes to build. If it's going to be there tomorrow. Maybe it takes a couple of days or something. But it's always nice to find dialogue that we're not going to get every now and then. Or you rarely see. Like we'll never see that dialogue again basically after the bridge is built. Now is there anything else I can help with? Well no. I guess there's no. We can't donate because the bridge is being built. So we can't work towards the next thing. Until the bridge is done. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need something, please feel free to stop by. Recycling. While we're here, may as well check the recycling bin. Oh, there's something in here. A lunar lander. I guess that's the sign that we should do a space theme in our upstairs. Well, there we go. I don't really know what to do today now. That was kind of my plan was to grind the bells. I suppose we should still try and uh, earn some bells. I think this time for the town fund, we should do it in... I should either record it as we go for the next thing. Because I think the next thing is... What's the next thing? Is it a windmill? Or a fountain or something like that. Um, so I think it's a lot more bells. So we should definitely keep track of it this time. But wow. That's such a nice surprise. I was not expecting that. I'm trying to think back. When did we do a large donation? We must have forgot, forgotten about it. Anyway... I suppose we could take a little bit of time now just to enjoy the misty Mori land and see if we can find the fossils because that's oh there's one it's something we oh no it's that pitfall it's something we always kind of forget to do um, but of course we do need to go to nooks and get some flowers buy some saplings oh here's one we're spotting them pretty quickly today actually we need to check this rock here I'm all taken back. I'm a little, I'm a bit excited now. I feel like that's all we need to do today. Because 
we've achieved what we've set out to do. We, I mean, we set out to do it like a couple of months ago, but really this last few days is really where we've been going for the, the bell grind. So I'm really happy. So there we go. We know for sure now how that works. And it also means, I think the next one is like half a million bells or something crazy. It also means we don't have to save up half a million bells in our storage and then donate it at once. We know we can do it gradually, which is really good. Um, but it's just weird that they don't kind of tell you. I wish you could go somewhere, like on the, the bank or something, and go, what is my donation balance? That would be really helpful. I wonder why they didn't put that in. But anyway, let's head around town, have a little bit of... Oh! We need to check our peach tree and our coconut tree. So, on the look around for our fossils... We'll go and check our trees that are growing. So, I'm feeling really relaxed. I don't know about you. I'm kind of just chill now. Um, I've got no desire today to do something, like, really important. I kind of just want to enjoy walking around. So, I feel like we deserve it after reaching that milestone. It's been a long time coming. Especially since we, you know, we've recently paid off our, our debt as well. Uh, we're just, of course, checking for fossils. Still don't know what to do with all of these golden shovels, by the way. If you have any ideas, let me know. We've got ten there. I was going to give them to the villagers, but I don't think we even see them walking around with shovels, do we? So it'd probably be a bit pointless. Although I would be interested to mail them all a golden shovel and see if it does anything. Maybe get a secret letter or... Some secret dialogue or something. There's got to be something we can do. The the golden shovels are so easy to obtain. There's got to be a reason why they're that easy. They've got to have another use, haven't they? Okay, moment of truth. Where did, oh no, it's not the moment of truth. It's uh, <laughs> We're nowhere near where we planted the uh, peach tree. But this is where we're going to expand our coconuts eventually. Uh, what is today? Is it? It's Tuesday today, isn't it? I wonder if there's anyone wandering around. So let's go and have a look at where the bridge is built. See if there's any, uh, if they've laid any construction or anything, or if it's just the same. I wonder if it will just appear, or if like some fencing will go up or something. So I'm guessing this is where the bridge is going to be. Along here. Where's my pointer? There. Well, it could be on this little bit, actually. I quite like it to be here, I think. A bit for... Oh, maybe... No, they won't do it like that, would they? I think an angled one would be quite cool. Straight across that signpost. But anywhere along here... Oh, there's a fossil. Anywhere along here is actually quite good. I think... Oh, look! Our... our um, sorry, our peach tree is growing! Yes! Look at that, I've dug up a fossil as well. So that's our peach tree. We were then heading around to see it, but we can see it from here. But I think we made the right decision for the, the, the bridge. Uh, we're just going to check the money rock as we come past as well. Ah, oh, I'm really happy now. I think we deserve a nice relaxing day. This is also a funny bit of land. I guess they're trying to make like a bit of a lake here. It's a bit quite wide there. But let's have a look over here, see where the other bridge would have been. Yeah, it wouldn't have been, you can see where the river meets the sea. So I'm guessing the bridge would have been diagonal across here. And that just, it would have saved us time, of course. But you know, it would have been a waste. I think we would have regretted it after a while. No, where's, where's, oh, there's only one rock left to test. Hey, truffles. Okay, let's check our trees are growing. Yep, they're all growing. I don't think trees can get stunted in this game. We, uh, I know I've said this before, but for those that missed it, we did manage to stunt a, who's that? Oh, it's Sahara! So we need some old carpets. Okay, that gives us something nice to do today. Um, basically, I was able to stunt a tree in the GameCube version once by planting one about here. And then when Red visited, he would always visit on a 
plot, a villager plot. Um, so the tent would go here, and then because the tent was close enough to the tree, not to delete it, but to affect its growth, it stunted it, and even when red disappeared, the tree forever stayed like a small tree. It was really cool. And I'm wondering if we could figure out a way of doing that. For example, if red came here, and it would stay like this little tree forever. But that's good news. It means we can plant some fruit trees in here and have another way to earn bells. Uh, oh, we should probably uh, get this money rock and then talk to Sahara. I think we have to talk to Sahara first to prompt getting old carpets from villagers. Okay. So here's all the money. Still no eighth bell bag. We will get it one day. I thought it would come a lot easier than it has with our feng shui, but we'll get there eventually. And there's still one more fossil somewhere. Oh, it's starting to rain! So we didn't need to water our flowers after all. Sahara, hey. Uh, I came from far away. I wish to trade carpets. Um, uh, it is for carpets that I came to your town today. For old carpets, you will bring them to me, yes? And for them, I will give you exotic carpets I have made. In my land, we call this recycling. You live here, yes? You ask others for carpets, you ask. Um, others give you old carpets and you give them to me. So we have to find some old carpets. It took us a little while to realize that was what we we're supposed to do. Even though Sahara straight up tells you to go and ask others. We didn't <laughs> we didn't pick up on that uh, for, for a little while. But we got there in the end. So we can go inside houses, ask for carpets. And we can also talk to the villagers who are wandering around. Freckles, hey! Wait, what have you got in here? What is that? An eel? Uh, yay, Shorty, so how have you been? Uh, got an old carpet. Huh? Old carpet? Oh, that cute girl with the long eyelashes is totally here again, huh? Sorry, Shorty, I totally just changed my floor. I'm sporting a super clean style now. Why have you got so many bugs and fish in here? I did not expect you to have fish and bugs in your house. Okay, so that's a no from Freckles then, I guess. So there should be five people in their houses and five wandering around. Anyone in this house? Ah, Rod. Uh, uh, Sparky Shorty, I have a killer idea. Wouldn't it be rad if we had something we said to each other every time we talked? You know, something we say to each other to crank up the pumpage. Sounds good. Um, I don't know what, though. Uh, right, you're pumped about this, right? Let's think of something. Um, what would Rod say? Like, maybe he'd be like, heavy. Because I feel like he's all about heavy lifting. And the weights. Ah, heavy. Yeah. I, I just I just can't think of him. I think we're going to have to try and find like a randomizer on Google. Oh, actually, we need to check for old carpets. Old carpets? I don't think I've got any of those. My carpets are nice and worn in from the crunches I do, but are really old. We knew you were all about the bustles. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, oh, Shorty, is something wrong? Uh, any old carpets? Oh yeah, I have like an entire pile of old carpets. You want to exchange with Sahara, huh? This one's pretty gross, but it's yours if you want it. Thank you. You're taking Tipper's saying here, Truffles. Okay. So what's that? One inside, two outside. We'll head up to this house up here. Double check. Can't remember who lives here. I think this must be Apollo, isn't it? Because Kusto used to live here, but Kusto left, leaving poor Apollo by himself. 
Um, but hopefully we get an old carpet. Uh, hey, Shorty, what are you up to? Apollo, what's happened to all your furniture? Do we buy everything on flea, flea market day? You've not replaced it yet. Old carpet? Well, my place is pretty broken in. I'm pretty sure it's old enough for me to just give away. Sorry, but look elsewhere. Okay. Yeah, this, this that wasn't the carpet you had last time, was it? It looks a bit different. I don't remember seeing that one. Um, so two out, two in. Let's see, who's over here? Where is everybody? So this is Jay. Jay's gonna, it's gonna be the first time Jay's gonna be able to give us a carpet, I hope. Jay likes your musical instruments. Uh, tell me to me straight. Hey, what's the matter? Old carpets. Oh, dude, that's right. Sahara is in town today. The straggly faded old carpet is all yours. Uh, tell Sa Sahara I said sup. <laughs> okay, if I remember, I will totally tell her sup. Um, trust Jay. Okay, so that's one from Jay. So what's that? Three inside, two outside. I'm totally going to forget and lose count, but hey. Uh, there's normally someone up behind here somewhere. No! Nope, no one around the back of Nooks today. Mustn't forget to go inside Nooks, because we do want to buy some more saplings. Who's singing? Tipper, hey! Hello, Shorty, what is it, Pushy? Any old carpets? What's that? Old carpets? How rude! My carpet isn't old at all! Oh, uh, okay. Glad it doesn't ruin your mood. So what's that? Three and three? Octavian, well, if it isn't Shorty! Did you eat too much at lunch? We haven't had lunch yet, actually. You're getting a bit hungry already. You look a little sluggish, Pushy. Why is everyone copying Tipper's saying? <laughs> Old carpets, you say? Huh? Nope, not at one. Uh, sorry, I can't help you. Next time, if one of my rugs starts looking grungy, I'll save it for you, Pushy. Okay, so what's that? Four outside, two inside. Gladys, we... You need to help us out here, Gladys. You need to stay in our good books, otherwise we will push you out of town. We will. One way or another. <laughs> um, right. Gladys, uh, what can I do for you? Old carpets? You know, I just got a new carpet a little while ago, Snee. Sadly, I already tossed the old one. Next time I replace my carpet, I'll save my old one just for you. Someone said that to us last time. I can't remember who. I hope it wasn't Gladys, because that means they're lying. Okay, so what's that? Four inside, four outside. So we've got two more villagers to find. I think we are at ten villagers. We're at full capacity. So one of these houses should have someone in. Here we go. So whose is this? I can't remember. This is Filbert's house, isn't it, I think? Um, so who haven't we seen? Is it Kitty? We haven't seen. Kitty must be out somewhere. Oh, you've got your little ladybird that we found you. Uh, everything all right there? Chill M. Got an old carpet. Oh, old carpets. I just went and traded mine for a sweet new one. Sorry, but I don't have any more. It is weird why everyone's given us their old carpets when they could go and get a new carpet. So it's just like, we're like, hey, can we have your old carpet so we can go get something new for free and not even reward you? I feel like we should have to buy the old carpets. Um, we have done this a couple times before, but so far we haven't... Um, we haven't got a Sahara exclusive, I believe. We've we got like the library wall, which we literally had in our house. So, anyway, hopefully today we get an exclusive carpet. But we are on a search for Kitty. I think Kitty's the only one we haven't seen. And there's another fossil around here somewhere. Wait, was that someone there? No. Huh. The other fossil is going to be well hidden, I feel like. Very rarely do we successfully find all three fossils. Yes. Yeah, look, the grass is growing back, actually. 
We're leaving it untouched. As long as we don't walk on there, that is, it is filling in, isn't it? So, yeah, a few people have said that it's grown back. So, I think you're right. As long as we stay clear. Like here, I believe, it, it is, it's coming back in, I think. It's not looking as bad as it was. And that's because we're avoiding that area. And here as well, I believe. We just, we just need to, when we're off the paths, we need to be more random with our walking. So we don't, it's the more you walk in the same place, the more it happens. So if we're more random, then it gives the chance, the tiles we walked on the, the last time, a chance to heal. Kitty, is this you? Kitty! Oh, I love your umbrella! Where did you get that umbrella? Hey, Shorty, what is it? Cat phrase, any old carpets? What's that? Old carpets? How rude! My carpet isn't old at all. Uh, uh... Uh, okay. So, did, did we get two? Old flooring, old flooring. Okay, so we got two. So we'll go and find Sahara. And hopefully we can trade these for something new. I'd even take a carpet we don't have that's not necessarily an exclusive. Sahara, hey. Uh, I want old carpets. I'll give you lovely new ones. Here you go. Oh, you bring me carpets. And how many? Two. Mine now. I wonder what happens if you save two. And every time Sahara's here, you collect old carpets. And then one day, you give Sahara like 15 carpets. That would be an interesting test. I don't know if I'm patient enough to do that. Like, if you got... It would take like seven weeks. It would take like two or three months to get that many old carpets. Uh, here, blue flooring! Sahara, come on! Maybe that's what the game wants you to do. Maybe maybe it wants you to save up the old carpets. We've already got the blue carpet. Oh, well. Oh, well, I guess all that's left to do is check out the Nookingtons today. Because we've dealt with Sahara, which is always something fun to do. Even though she gave us a carpet we already had. It was nice to talk to the villagers. And of course, we've reached the bridge milestone, so we don't need to worry about donating for a couple of days. Hopefully, the bridge is there tomorrow, but maybe it takes longer. So, hopefully, also, we're still looking for the pineapple bed, so I'm really hoping that there's a pineapple bed available in Nooks. I, I'm starting to worry that it's like a red item or something. Uh, yay, see? Two cedar saplings, so I, d I think it does alternate every week. Uh, yes, yes, tell me what I can do for you. We want to sell a few things. We want to keep the Lunar Lander. I th have we already got a Lunar Lander, actually? I think we got one on f the flea market day. Uh, can let's just check the for the Lunar Lander. See if we can see it. Space Station... Lunar Lander, we do. And if we don't, we can always buy it back. So let's sell the Lunar... Ah! Sell the Lunar Lander. If I can press the right button. There we go. And while we're in here, of course, we're going to buy the two cedar saplings. So my theory is, one week there's two hardwood saplings and one cedar sapling then the next week there's two cedar saplings one hardwood that seems to be how it's been because last week we, we there was only ever one cedar sapling that's the one we won uh, but let's go and check upstairs uh, but basically that means hopefully this week we can get a lot of cedar saplings uh, welcome to the first floor what's this a florence flask interesting i wonder if that is a feng shui item Oh, cool. Oh, look, a little tea set. We'll buy that. It's pretty cute. 300 bells. Literally had this in here the other day. Not too bothered about golf clubs, although they are pretty cool. We're starting to see items quite regularly. This table's been in here a few times. Right, because we still need to do upstairs, let's check the carpets. Birch flooring. No, that was in here yesterday. Kitsy tile, no thank you. And, nope. 
We don't want that rug either. Mosaic wall. It's a little bit expensive. Plaster wall? No, we're just hoping for something exciting. We need some, is there like a space wall or a moon wall? I bet that's a Sahara item, isn't it? I'll pass. Actually, where do we get wallpapers from? Does Sahara give us wallpapers as well? Because Wendell only gives us, like in the GameCube version, Wendell would give us wallpapers, but Wendell gives us designs in this, this one. Interesting. And why, why does this item look so big? It's so weird. Okay. Um, yeah, let's head back. We're going to go put our tea set in our house. Because um, it's just nice to have these little items to make the house look a little nicer. I'm going to check this fishing rod as well. See if it's a silver rod. No. Uh, actually, how much space have we got? We should probably buy the flowers. So we've got... Let's put the fossils in here for now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We'll buy the flowers. There we go. So in a couple days' time as well, we're going to have a bunch of peaches that we can harvest, which is good. Oh, actually, do we need to harvest some coconuts today? Or should we leave them? Maybe we should leave them for another day. We still want to be saving bells, of course, because we've got a big debt to pay, and we also want to work towards the next town fund at some point. Uh, but I don't know how quickly we're going to be able to start donating again to the town fund. Okay, there we go. That's everything we need from the shop today. Thanks much for shopping. Come again soon. So we'll just go and plant these flowers and then drop the tea set in our house. A little bit of a shorter episode today, I think. Um, let's put these down here and must remember to drop and not plant drop drop There we go Right, where should we start trying to heal the grass because it's important to put flowers down as well. It speeds up the process by a, a, It's a, like a, it's like a point system. So the flowers speed it up by a few points So if we put flowers here, it will also stop us hopefully um Running over that area as well. At least deter us a little bit. There we go. So just keep dropping some here. And then we'll do some the other side as well. I think once we've got the grass under control and the paths are built, that's when we next want to like start looking at hybrids a bit more. Um, tea set we're going to go and put in our house. I think we'll leave the coconuts for another day. Um, tomorrow we will definitely check the Able Sisters because it will no longer be... I think it's the 14th. I better check that actually. Shamrock Day, St. Patrick's Day. So, uh, we can change our outfits. Right, let's get inside, nice, in the nice and warm outside of the rain, and we'll just put this tea set in here. I imagine it's a yellow item, so we could lose one of the candles, because just to change up this uh, room a little bit, we've got some flowers, candles on a little bucket. Not sure why we'd have a bucket on the table, but... There we go, I'm hoping. Um, that is a yellow item. I think that's yellow. I'd also love to know if we can put things on top of fish tanks. No, we can't. We may as well keep the other candle. Okay, well, there we go. Pretty good episode. Pretty fun episode. Probably the last look at the Shamrock hat. So get a good look at it. Because <laughs> we're going to put it in our storage afterwards. We don't want to sell it because it is a limited time item that we probably won't get again. So it's a good job that we got it. Uh, but most importantly, other than playing with Sahara today, we managed to yesterday complete the donations. And today we were told that we... Um, have reached the 200,000 bell milestone 
by doing it in small increments over the last couple of months. So it's been a long time coming, but we have reached that milestone. And it's super exciting because we're going to get a new bridge tomorrow or at some point this week, hopefully. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment something fun in the video uh, below and let me know what you think of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to the channel members, as always, for making this happen. Um, especially the top tier members, of course, we have to name you as well. Zander, Caroline, and Thomas. Uh, without you and all the other, other members and viewers, this channel wouldn't exist. So please know I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!